Hey, what's up? It's Russell, and we are here to play Volume. So, Volume is uh, a new game by Bithel Games, and you might know the name Bithel, Mike Bithel, from... Uh, he, he created the game Thomas Was Alone, which is pretty much a game uh, where you play as a, a little block, and then a British guy talks about the little block and other little blocks. It's pretty much the gist of the game. Uh, but the new game, Volume, is... A much, you can already tell, it's a much, much different game. There's no, there's no blocks, and I don't hear any vi uh, British narrators, which, who knows, that could change. We haven't started the game, but uh, so far it seems a little different. And as far as I know, it's like a stealth game in like the vein of like Metal Gear Solid, the, uh, the virtual reality missions in those games. And I, you know, I haven't played a stealth game in a, in a good while, so... Having a nice, rewarding, uh, relatively challenging stealth game um, is definitely what I need right now. Especially because Metal Gear Solid Five is going to be coming out soon enough, so might as well get my, uh, you know, get my stealth, my stealth hat on and, and get ready for some super intense stealth. And this game looks uh, really good in its own right, so that should be that should be a lot of fun. Um, so this is like. The second time I booted up the game, I booted it up once to just, you know, mess around with the settings and stuff like that. Um, and, like, edit simulation is like a level builder. So, we're just going to go into run simulation. And I assume this is, this is like, the uh, the story mode. So, it's cool. It looks like there's a little bit of a uh, leaderboard kind of thing with the number one, number two, number three, number four. You, you, you get the point. I don't have to say the numbers. Welcome to Gisborne Industries. This simple starter map should help you get to grips with basic movement and help our state-of-the-art AI calibrate to your needs. Okay, I'm going to try to not talk over cutscenes. Okay, so it looks like we were just arrested, or we were, uh, we, they're coming to get us, pretty much, in that little cutscene. And uh, now we're going to go back in time and figure out why. I'm going to turn up the, the voice volume, because that's really low. Can I, can I pause it here? No settings? Okay, that sucks. And they do have a British narrator, so I was wrong about that. Um, you know what? I think I'm going to redo this with the volume a little bit higher, but just this part. So hold on just a moment. Okay, well, actually, it's started here, but... I'm excited to try. I'm Rob, by the way. Hi, Rob. Alan. Alan. I can assure you that artificial life solutions took great time and effort in focus testing my name. Alan was arrived upon after many months of market research. Alan's your buddy. You know Alan. Of course I know Alan. I love Alan. Etc. I get it. Okay, Alan. Let's do this. Do you like the color? Uh, beautiful. I'm capable of showing 16,000 mm. colors. We can't have you shooting at drab enemies. Uh, you see me like weapons. Well, there wouldn't be much of a military training simulator if I didn't, Rob. These first few environments are focused on movement and evasion only. We'll get to the guns later. Awesome guns. No rush. Okay, so that was pretty long dialogue and interchange there. Or exchange, rather. I'm going to read the text. What I did. Right-click it. How do I, how do I read this? Space. Uh, I was going to explain movement here, but I see that won't be necessary. Fantastic. Also, you're reading this, so you've worked out context actions. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and delete some upcoming tutorial text. Now, is that a little bit of a joke or not? Also, we've taken 67 seconds for this, and that's probably a really long time. But that's funny. I mean, I don't know if I missed something tutorial-wise, but I, I hopefully I, I kind of like the joke 
that it's like you know how to play a game we're not gonna put you through a tutorial um but the do I want to try to run? I like how someone did it. I like how it goes like 411, 412, 413, 417. Like, I don't understand. Like, ha there has to be, like, that doesn't seem like a very complicated level. We're going to do that one real quick and see if we can get on here. I doubt it. Because there's got to be some weird thing that they did here. I'm just going to hold down and just run. This should be interesting. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. Two, three. Oh. No, that was way too long, huh? 4.4, and the other one was like 4.11. Let's go back here. Yeah, f like, how do you get to that? Oh, well, we're just going to keep moving. Um, Local online, yeah, whatever. We're just going to keep moving uh, moving ahead. Like, what do they do? How do they run? Is there, like, there's probably some little glitch maybe there or something? I don't know. Okay. So we got some diamonds that we need to pick up. Some more texture. Whoa, all right. Uh, gem subsystem activated. These are obviously meant to represent pricey possessions. I don't really have the processing budget to model a hundred different kinds of trinket. So let's go a bit. So let's go a bit. I, this is probably some sort of like... Uh, searching thesaurus for synonyms of cheap. Minimalist. Collect them all to open the exit. Now, I don't know if that's a little bit of that... Uh, you know... British English grammar there but some of that was like what maybe I'm just a lot worse with the grammar than I think I am that is gonna be worse than more viewers hmm I don't all right okay so we're moving so we just grabbed some gems that level so these are some pretty easy levels we're just gonna keep on moving pretty easy so far I want to get into like you know the the nice hardcore stealth stuff so here we go we got an enemy here You've got previous experience, right? You've been a Gizbo employee for a while. You could say that. Well, the next environment focuses on beginner gunplay, but it looks like you might be beyond that. I'm experiencing temporary errors in my employee database. Standard guard training, right? This is a checkpoint. They will well check your point, saving your progress so far. The next environment focuses on beginner gunplay, but it looks like oh. you might be beyond that. I'm gonna let them talk because they're gonna keep re restarting it. Errors in my employee database. Standard. Guard training, right? Walking back and forth, keeping an eye on the family jewels. Yeah. What else have you got? I tend to work a bit more subtly. Mm. Oh, infiltration. Knew it. Probably black ops, bomb type stuff. Maybe that's why you're not in the database. Stealth. Pretty cool. Okay. Can do this. I'm applying a bit of simple AI to each guard. Enough for you to go up against. So, simulated stealth. Perfect. That's not perfect, but it should help you practice the skills you'll need for what comes next. Thanks. Right, you don't want to talk about what comes next? Not really. I only know bits and pieces. Hundreds of volumes installed up and down the country. They say it's the biggest private... Okay, so I'm just going to read this. Um, stop that pawn. We'll see if you try to collect those gems. Press and hold the left shift near that low wall to sneak past. I only know bits and pieces. Hundreds of volumes installed up and down the country. They say it's the biggest private military spend since devolution. Hmm. Secretive. Like Bond. Architects. You're good. Which weaponry would you like simulated, sir? Uh, none for now. Man, this game has a lot of dialogue. Corners, press space to turn them while staying in cover. Nothing wrong with that. Just not, I just didn't expect it. So, press space. Okay, the controls, not that they're weird, I just gotta get used to them with the whole, maybe this is more built for a controller, I don't know. Great job, sorry, is that patronizing? Uh, apologies too for the amount of capital capitalization used in this environment, yeah, used in this environment, may have overdone that. Okay. Uh, but yeah, maybe this was, I don't know if this was built for more of a, a controller in mind. Not saying that it feels bad or anything, but it's just like, so I'm holding shift, and I gotta go up, and then you gotta click space. You're holding a bunch of buttons down, pretty much. Uh, but I can handle it. And, like, I've seen enough of the game to know that. So, this right here is, like, their vision cone. Uh, and then this is, like, their hearing cone, I guess you could say. So, they can, that's, like, effectively vision uh, beyond the walls. Come on, get on the wall. 
So we gotta actually this is gonna be weird because we have to go back and then we have to switch sides. There we go. So we can get these diamonds right here. Okay, grab these guys. But yeah, so far again, nothing too challenging stealth wise. Alright, now we can move. I wonder if you can sprint. Maybe later we'll figure that out. And they're talking about weapons. I wonder if there's actually weapons in here. Um, added support to AI to hear environmental noises. So what they could so I could have just walked past before. Quite proud of this actually. World interactions were not covered by the original maps. Okay. So far the levels are really quick, really easy. And there's a lot of dialogue. But luckily this is the first one that doesn't have it. My studies of pre-volumetric simulations show that flushable toilets are incredibly important to create a sense of presence. Use them to distract these pawns. Okay, so what is this, a toilet? That's really weird. Oh. So that was kind of a weird little pause. How did, how did I press space? If I hold it? Okay, I, I get it, I get it, I get it. So there's a little meter that fills up as you press it. And then once that's full, then the toilet is flushed. But I didn't see like a like a vision, not a vision, but like a an example of what. Let's see, oh there it goes. I saw the little circle. Oh come on, now I can flush this toilet. And they're gonna come around this way. Can I avoid that? Nice. Actually, am I supposed to even be here? Um, Rob, I'm enjoying researching these heists. I'm going to find data link to each location you simulate. Embed it for embed it for you for context. Uh, should help to set the mood for all the fake thievery. I'm also researching the origin of my kind. AI is like me. It's fascinating. I'll embed some snippets of my findings on that too. So it doesn't even feel like I'm supposed to be there yet. So let's actually move around to this toilet. Okay, maybe I'm going to... Because right now, uh, I feel like I have no idea um, what, the, uh, what the AI... What is that? Oh, no, that's just telling me we can leave now. I have no idea what the AI, like, the reasoning for the AI is. Like, why do they go specific directions? Like, I get this one because it's the only way it can go. Um, but I'm going to have to learn um, their pathing and stuff like that. But that's probably part uh, of the game as well. So we can get out of here. <sighs> and I'm probably off camera going to do, like, oh, maybe, no, speed runs. That could be fun. We'll see how I want to do it. Just so I can, you know, see how... Uh, how high I can get up there. I doubt I can get up to there. Because I'm sure these people, you know, they've gone through it a couple times. It's been out for a couple days, so. And I'm, I don't even know if I'm on par on half of these, but whatever. We're not going to worry about that yet. So moving targets. The banker made incredible amounts of money during the war by investing in the companies he knew Gisborne would leave standing. I've based this environment off. No, oh, I've based this environment on one of his offices. Okay. Um, I'm feeling like we could do... Cause I'm not really sure how long it's been going. I should probably start timing these, uh, especially if I'm just gonna, you know, record. I mean, I, or I could just record till you get bored and then separate it. But we'll see. Um, but I might just do a, a couple more levels and then uh, we can end it there. Oh, did I mention that pawns can patrol? They can. Look, there's a couple over there patrolling. Clever little pawns. So I can run over here really quickly, get down, and then wait for him to pass. Now I can grab these. And then keep moving. So again, nothing too uh, complicated so far. Oh, that was stupid. Nope. Dodge. I wonder if I can like <laughs> just mess him up. Oh, whoa, whoa. I got it. I got it. I got it. Whew. That was dumb. Does he go around it in a circle? No, he just goes back and forth. Oh, no, wait. Oh, okay. No. We're good. He doesn't go around in a circle. He just goes there and then now I can run. So I kind of just juked the AI a little bit there, so that was a little weird. And remember, he can see, but I think I can, uh, as long as I don't get too close. Or at least too close to uh, in, in, to being in front of him, because he can see all that stuff. Um, so yeah, let's just keep moving. We, got, we do have some toilets here and stuff like that. Now, I don't think he'll see me from there. And this guy apparently can't hear through this wall. Maybe they're too thick or something? I don't know. Oh, 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 get down. Trying to think. Oh, is he gonna turn this way? Dang it! Run, man, run! There, I think I got him. Yeah, he got juked. Okay. So as long as you break the line aside a couple times, um, you should be fine. So he does turn that way. So I would want to hide there. 
Let's see. So he's going to go that way, and then he turns this way. And then he goes back. So he's never going to look this way. So I can probably juke around him here. If I go boom. And then boom. Oh, no. Juke. Go, 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 go. Just run in circles. There we go. We're good. Okay. So got to be a little more careful. Again, not very hard. I, I did get caught a couple times, which is kind of dumb. So I can go like this and then go that around here. Ah, oh, really? No, I can just run around in circles and dodge him one more time. Oh, got him. There we go. Now, do I feel happy about that? No. I pretty much just... <sighs> not really exploited, but I kind of just, you know, bounced around there. I would have preferred that to be uh, clean and not have been gotten... Not have been spotted. I would have preferred to not have been spotted. Yeah. I know. For whatever reason, I'm super, like, <laughs> worried about my grammar right now. Oh, get down. I like that. I like how it's like, oh, you better hurry up. We also have to learn their patterns. So, let's see. I wonder if they all have the same pattern. Let's follow this guy. Looks like they have the same pattern. So, if we just stick on one of them, we should be fine. So, we can do this. I don't want to boast. Yes, I don't want to boast, but yeah. All right, all righty. I'm talking about my grammar. What are you talking about, man? Let's keep moving. So yeah, yeah. We're just gonna try to stick on one of them because it looks like they had the exact same pattern. Whoop, messed up there. Lost a little bit of time. Uh, but I think I'm a little bit faster than them. Just a little bit. Okay. So yeah, it appears they have a very strict um, set of movements. So as long as I can keep an eye on one of them. I should be able to anticipate what the ones behind me are going to do and then alternate and get behind those guys. So you can't hear me through this. I want to read this real quick. Excerpt from My Kind of Guy, article in Synergistic UK Magazine, May 6, 2014, Belinda Ho. Well, this is a long one. If you want to if you want to read this, you can you can pause it cuz that's a long one. Okay? Even though I personally like read it, I'm probably going to rewatch it when I'm editing it and uh, read what it said there. But that is that is way too long, and I know I get, uh, I get my throat dry very quickly when I'm talking and stuff like that. And by the end of this video, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be sounding like uh, some sandpaper rub rubbing up against each other, and I'm also gonna be stuttering constantly. Okay, uh, we'll do one more. Uh, but I'm definitely liking the ideas right now. I'm just waiting for it to get difficult. Uh, and I say that even though I got caught uh, a couple times. I never got killed, though. Rooms won't always have a convenient toilet to flush. Fortunately, you have the capacity to make noises unaided. At least I think you do. Press C to try. Just be careful who's nearby when you do. So I wonder if you could just do it anywhere if you have to be up against a wall like Metal Gear. Nope, you can just do it. You can just whistle. I like that. Uh, I'm probably going to make the game relatively easy. Because I could just, you know, do this. Get here. And then go around. I'm actually, I've, I'm feeling a little bit. No, okay, we're good there. He was a little slow. If he was a little bit faster, I actually would have worried me. Um, now, this is a weird one. If I go like. So, now this is like, okay, so if I whistle here. I'm trying to think about how this is going to work. So, we're going to whistle. Okay, he does that. Yeah, I got out of here. That was pretty easy. Uh, got some diamonds over there. Um, let's see, which way do you have to go? You have to go that way. So, let's get those diamonds. Oh, I see what you could do. I see it. You whistle here. He's going to come around. You're going to try to go around that way really quick, but you got to just wait a second. Come around. There you go. And now you go. And then you're just going to alternate and do the same thing over here. He's going to start coming back around, so you don't have to whistle again. You're going to do that. Uh, jerk. Oh, wow. Okay, I get it. I can get here, though. Whoop. All right, we're good. Okay, so they can see over the... Uh, the low walls here. Okay, that makes sense. Hmm. So I'm wondering if that's actually them being able to hear through walls, or if it's only low walls, you know, that they can actually, uh, it's them actually seeing over the low walls instead. Alright, we whistle here. They could have seen through that. I don't know how I'm supposed to avoid these guys. Just hide here in the corner? I don't know. That actually is possible. And whoop. Then we just go. But we're going to have to be a little slow about it because they're going to... There we go. And then we're going to have to run, grab these diamonds, and get back as quickly as possible. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, we got it. All right. 
Okay, so we'll start out with the deposed queen old money mission on the next video. Uh, if you like this video, you can hit the like button. Uh, if you have some sort of more in-depth feedback that you'd like to give, whether that be positive or negative, and negative as in constructive criticism, not being a jerk, uh, then you can leave that in a comment or send me a message. I would greatly appreciate it. And if you want to see me beat this game, because I don't know how long it is, but I plan on beating this game. It doesn't seem, and right now it, does, it doesn't seem very difficult. I know it's going to get harder and there's going to be a lot more stuff, but uh, I do plan on beating this game because it's a lot of fun and I've been looking for a stealth game to, uh, to complete. And this is actually a game that has an end. You can see there's a completion rate right here. So this game has an end, so it's not like Nuclear Throne or something like that. This is something that I'm going to play from start to finish, and it's going to be a lot of fun. So if you want to stick around with that, then you can subscribe. Um, yeah, and if you want to subscribe to watch me play Nuclear Throne and a bunch of other random games, you can do that as well. Um, but yeah, most importantly, I hope you have a great rest of your day.